Greetings, YouTube. In America, we pretty much have a mass shooting every day. They're like storms. They just come and go, and apparently no one can do anything about them. And they've become so ubiquitous that the Episcopal Church has decided that the most appropriate thing to do is to come up with an official prayer that will be used when mass shootings occur. I'm not going to link to the prayer. You can go look it up yourself. You know, but I'm thinking, maybe if they put as much effort into coming up with a prayer, as in, say, encouraging people to not own firearms, or encouraging people to look for reasonable gun reform laws and vote for politicians that do that, they'd be better off. Now, you're going to say, well, that's espousing religious, you know, political opinions. And, well, the social conservatives do it every goddamn day. All the damn time, and they get away with it. Standing up in front of your congregation and saying, hey, you know, you shouldn't shoot people. Maybe we should have better laws in America. Maybe gun control makes sense. Maybe I, your religious leader, am sick of doing funerals for the victims of gun crimes. But instead, they came up with a prayer about mass shootings. There's lots of things we could do in America. And I'm not going to, and I personally don't advocate destroying the entire Second Amendment. But I do advocate getting rid of semi-automatic firearms. There's no reason any American citizen needs a semi-automatic firearm. They were designed specifically for the purposes of war. Um, and, and, and if you don't think that, go ask the guy, go ask the family of Stoner, the guy that designed the AR-15 that became the M-16. The AR-15, which is the just golden child of the amosexuals in America. They love the AR-15. And they just love to parade it around. Of course, they're all white. And amazingly enough, they don't get shot by the cops. It's kind of interesting. Um, but no, we need reasonable firearm reform in America. We need to get rid of semi-automatic firearms. All of them. I don't say assault weapons. That's a wishy-washy term. I am very specific when I advocate for this gun, gun reform. I want all semi-automatic firearms. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, anything that's semi-automatic, gone. Okay? Um, background checks. Uh, red line laws, you know, red flag laws. That's not red line, red flag laws. I want to make sure that every gun sale goes through a licensed gun dealer. I want to make sure everything is registered. So close all the loopholes. No selling firearms at at flea markets and at gun shows and at yard sales. All of which I have seen. Okay, I've lost count on the number of firearms I've seen sold at flea markets and at yard sales. Alright? And, and, and if the older models, when I get sold at like antique pieces, that's fine. You can sell antique pieces at an antique shop. Those are not the ones being used in mass shootings, okay? There are reasonable things we can do, but we don't do anything except come up with prayers? Yeah. I understand the reason the Episcopal Church did this. Because of the hellscape that we live in. But many better, better off to actually try to go after the problem rather than coming up with a prayer, which really is going to be a day late and a dollar short. 